Hey guys, Gavin Bell here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use standard events to track your conversions rather than using custom conversions because if you're someone like me that uses ClickFunnels I've often found that using custom conversions isn't the best way to track conversions or to track actions happening on, on your funnels and on your sites. With, with ClickFunnels for some reason, I'm not sure why, it just doesn't seem to work very well. So what we want to do is we've got our funnel here in click funnels, so I've just used this as an example, a very simple two-step funnel. What you want to go do is head over to your thank you page and click on edit page. Now this is going to be the same if you use click funnels or not, you're going to do the same uh, steps in, in terms of creating your standard event. In click funnels, we want to go to settings and then tracking code, and this is where we're going to paste our Facebook pixel. So if we go back to Facebook, I'm in the ads manager now to find the pixel, I'll go down to all tools and then over to pixels. And because this is a demo account, you'll see here that I don't have any pixel data. But what I'm gonna do is click on view setup instructions, and then I'm going to click on manually install the code yourself. And this is the base pixel code. So this is the code that you want to have installed across every single page in your site and your funnel. But what I want to do here is rather than, you can see the tracking part of this is just a page view. What I want to do is add a standard event to this. Now Facebook has its own kind of standard standard events if you like, but what I want to do in this occasion is actually just create my own one here. So let's say this was somebody signing up for a free guide and that free guide was called um, Facebook ad my, my Facebook advertising blueprint guide, let's say. So what I might want to do is go here is, is to copy this line, paste it into the line below, and then change this page view here to something like blueprint download. And then what I'm going to do is click the cross there and click on save. Now after a while what's going to happen is when people start to land on that page and that pixel starts to fire in my ads manager here and under this pixel section or the events manager I'm going to start to see that standard event that I just created. And then what I'm going to do when I go to create a campaign and I want to optimize for that I can select that standard event. For some reason, as I say, standard events just seem to work much better when you're running click funnels. To be honest, they, they work much better when you're running any sort of funnel, but I know that custom conversions can be much easier to set up. The reason I wanted to create this video is I was having a conversation with a client earlier who was struggling to get his head around custom conversions. And so what we're doing is we're setting up standard events for all of his funnels and, and the different steps in his funnel. So standard events are something that probably confused quite a lot of people, but very easy to set up. All you're doing is, is you're you're just uh, editing the, the pixel code on specific pages in your funnel. So when somebody lands on that, that pixel fires as it would normally, but it's got this extra uh, targeting part or, or piece of code or line to it, whatever you want to call it, that's just telling Facebook that it's something else is happening there. Uh, and if you like, you can actually go and, and uh, press the wrong thing there, you can go and actually make your, your standard events slightly more complex. So for example, if I go down here and click on continue, okay, and press the wrong thing, you can see you've got the different standard events here. Now if I was to click on purchase, I can actually put a purchase value in there. So let's just say 127 Great British Pounds, and that's gonna create that pixel code for me there and it's got the value and, and things. So you can go, you can get, your standard events can get a little bit more complicated than what I've put. I've just used an example of if someone was just downloading something for free, um, then that would be sufficient. But that's how to use standard events with ClickFunnels.